Squeak, 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 and welcome back to Library at Home with Mr. S. It's Mouse Week, the week that I read you stories about mice. And today's story is called Matthew's Dream. It was written and illustrated by one of my favorite authors, Mr. Leo Leone. Maybe you guys remember back a couple months ago, we did an author study of Leo Leone, and I told you that I liked him even when I was a little kid about your age, specifically because of the way he drew his mice and his frogs and his snails. I loved his mice so much, I tried to learn to draw mice just like his when I was a little kid like you guys. So this is a story about a mouse named Matthew who decides to go out and see the world. And one of the places he goes is an art museum. And he is so impressed by the paintings he sees that he decides he wants to become a painter just like the painters in the art museum. Who knows, maybe one day you guys will become artists or painters. You know, if you like art museums, there's a lot of art museums online that you can check out. Just go into Google or Yahoo or any search that you like and put in online art museums and you can see all kinds of amazing works of art. So we're going to check out this story. Here we go. It's called Matthew's Dream. And again, it was written and illustrated by Leo Leone. Okay, a couple of mice lived in a dusty attic with their only child. His name was Matthew. In one corner of the attic, draped with cobwebs, were piles of newspapers, books, and magazines, and an old broken lamp and the sad remains of a doll. That was Matthew's corner. Take a good look at it, because I think uh, we're going to see it a couple of times here. The mice were very poor, but they had high hopes for Matthew. He would grow up to be a doctor, perhaps. Then they would have Parmesan cheese for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But when they asked Matthew what he wanted to be, he said, I don't know. I want to see the world. One day, Matthew and his classmates were taken to the museum. It was the first time any of them had ever been. They were amazed at what they saw. There was a huge portrait of King Mouse the Fourth, dressed like a general, and next to it was a picture of cheese that made Matthew drool. There were winged mice that floated through the air, and mice with horns and bushy tails, and mountains and rushing streams and branches bowing in the wind. The world is all here, thought Matthew. Entranced, Matthew wandered from room to room, gazing at the paintings. There were some that he didn't understand at first. One looked like crusts of pastry, but when he looked more carefully, a mouse emerged. Then, turning a corner, Matthew found himself face to face with another little mouse. She smiled at him. I am Nicoletta, she said. Aren't these paintings wonderful? That night, Matthew had a strange dream. He dreamed that he and Nicoletta were walking hand in hand in an immense, fantastic painting. As they walked, playful patches of color shifted under their feet, and all around them, suns and moons moved gently to the sound of distant music. Matthew had never been so happy. He embraced Nicoletta. Let's stay here forever, he whispered. Matthew woke up with a start. He was alone. Nicoletta had faded with his dream. The gray dreariness of his attic corner appeared to him in all of its bleak misery. Tears came to his eyes. But then, as if by magic, Matthew, what Matthew saw began to change. The shapes hugged each other, and the pale colors of the messy junk heap brightened. Even the crumpled newspapers now looked soft and smooth. And from afar, Matthew thought he heard the notes of familiar music. He ran to his parents' corner. I know, he said. Now I know. I want to be a painter. Matthew became a painter. He worked hard and painted large canvases filled with shapes and colors and joy. Then he married Nicoletta, 
In time, he became famous, and mice all over the world came to see his paintings. His largest painting now hangs in the museum. When asked about the title, Matthew smiles. The title, he says, as if he had never thought about it before. Well, the title of this one is My Dream. And that, boys and girls, is the end of Matthew's dream. What a great story about a little mouse who wanted to be something big. And who knows, maybe one day one of you guys will grow up to be something big, like a painter or an artist or a teacher. Or who knows, maybe one of you might even grow up to be president of the United States one day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this story. Um, that's it for Mouse Week. Next week we're going to do something different. So make sure to have a great weekend and check back in on Monday. Don't forget to click submit after you watch this video um, so that I, or turn in so that I know uh, you guys saw it. Leave me a comment about something you'd like to do when you grow up and I'll try to write back to you. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed Mouse Week. Squeak, 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 squeak. Well, hello boys and girls. I certainly hope you enjoyed Mouse Week as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Um, this is actually where I make my videos. It's a little bit of a mess because I got a lot of things going on and I'm in the middle of editing some video right now. Anyway, um, for your enjoyment, I have a collection of clips that are bloopers and some that are outtakes and some are things that didn't make it into the Mouse Week videos. I thought you'd enjoy seeing them. So here they are. Have a great weekend and I'll see you guys next week. I've got my cheese and I've got my taco and I'm secretly down here where no one can stop me from eating them. Squeak, 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 squeak. Go ahead, start now. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Today's story is called Julius, the Baby of the World and it was written and illustrated by Kevin Hankies. Now, I'm going to be reading a lot. Uh, did I spill? Hankus. Hankus, Hankus, okay. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Today's story is called Owen, and it was written and illustrated by Kevin Hankies. Ah. I love the way books smell. It smells like, um like a fine cheese. Mm. Ew. <laughs> Squeak! Um, this was one of my favorite books when I was um, a child. It's called The Mouse and the Mouse. Just start over. <laughs>